Jimmy, five female fighters are 4-0 or better in the UFC. All five are flyweights. Suarez is one. Again, that was in the strawweight division, and it was a number of years ago. But if she picks up where she left off, where does she rank amongst the elite flyweights today? She was a future champion. When I called her fight in Santiago, Chile, we thought she was going to be the next big thing. Destroyed Carla Esparza, of course, won a belt at 115. She was supposed to be it. Why? Long, tall, great wrestling, which is extremely rare for 115 at 125. She had the strength. She had the intensity. She was incredibly well-rounded. Coached at Millennia, great team down there in Rancho Cucamonga, California. She had everything it took to not just be a star, not just win, but be a champion and be a champion for a long time if she's still at that level if the injuries haven't taken it all out of her she could be right back at the elite just one win away uh, Jimmy I think the key word there you got it right is if mm -hmm. she can be at that level I mean she's had a long layoff more than three years Megan so what does the preparation look like for someone like that who's been out of the game for so long and do you have any concern about her return I have some concerns, but Ring Ross is a mindset. And I think with how competitive she has been for most of her life, she's been competing not just in wrestling, but in MMA for such a long time that even though it is three years, she has the skills and the ability to put all of that nonsense aside to get the job done. The X factor, though, is she's going up a weight class that she's mm -hmm. never fought at before. She's fighting bigger girls, stronger girls, who could potentially match her wrestling, her power, and her size, which she's never seen before. I am intrigued about that because will she have the ability to adjust? And if she does win, is she going to stay at flyweight or will she make that drop back down to strawweight again? Megan, very quickly, a follow-up. What are the cues you're going to be looking for to tell you early in this fight mm -hmm. if ring rust is going to be a factor for Suarez? I think it's going to be how fast she looks for the takedown because that's her bread and butter. She knows the wrestling and she knows that she can rely on that at any point in the fight. How fast is she going to get there? And if she does, does she slow? Does she gas? Is she still going to have that same dogged, determined pace that she always has prior to the time off? I think that's going to be a really big tell. And if she can adjust to the size. When she walks to the Octagon this weekend, it'll be the first time Suarez has competed since Charlie mentioned, 8th of June, 2019. 1,358 days to be exact. That night, she beat Nina Ansara by decision, now Nina Nunes. This week, she fights Montana De La Rosa, who was Montana Stewart not long before Suarez's last appearance. A lot has changed. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.